can't decide and torn between a romantic, comedy, action, or an indie film to watch for the weekend? Well, 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 Golden State Media Concepts Movie Podcast is your ultimate guide to the latest movies. Join Jordan, Keith, and Mariano as the trio dissects what's latest on the blockbusters. It's the Golden State Media Concepts Movie Podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> you are listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Movie Review Podcast with Keith Mar- and Yano. Mariano. Oops. <laughs> Mariano and Keith. Yeah, Jordan could not make it today. He's out there at the outside lands uh, doing the whole concert rock and roll thing in San Francisco having fun. So uh, have fun, Mr. Jordan. And uh, yeah, today we have a great show for you. We're going to go over, review Jason Bourne's new movie. Matt Damon is back as Jason Bourne. And, so, <laughs> and yes. so is the, the original director. Yes, Paul Greengrass. Right. And we got Bad Moms for you with Mila Kunis. <laughs> oh, Christina Applegate. <laughs> yes, know. you got to put me on. Yes. <laughs> and um, Jada Pinkett Smith and Kristen Bell. Yeah, it's going to be a, yeah, that's, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to this podcast. <laughs> Most definitely. So we will start. Should we probably start with Bad Moms? Mm -hmm. I would think so. All right. Yeah, let's start with Bad Moms. We can definitely do that. So Bad Moms is a comedy uh, that stars Mila Kunis, uh, Catherine Hahn, Kristen Bell. Yeah. And um, (laughs) it's what happens when a a working class mother just gets burnt out. Mm Mm-hmm. She's just burnt out, just too much work, uh, just too much pressure trying to get everything done for the kids. You know, and uh, she just has a breaking point and she winds up inspiring other moms to be rebellious too and spend time for, you know, with themselves, having fun. Mila Kunis plays Amy, uh, Catherine Hahn is Carla, and Kristen Bell's Kiki. But before I even we go further with that, the director of this film is, his name is Scott Moore. And there he were, is also. Hmm? There were two directors to this film, I believe. There were two writers. There. Thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah, Scott Moore and John Lucas. Yes. Thank you. Yep, see? Mariano, saving the day. And so he's directed, yeah. So two directors for Bad Moms, which is interesting because you usually only get two directors like for like animated movies. Yeah, like a Disney movie. So, but not for a comedy. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, so let's see. Scott Moore has also directed uh, Mixology, a TV series, one episode, mm-hmm. and 21 and over. And John Lucas has the other, you know, the co-director did, did, did the same thing. So they, they like working together, apparently. You know what they did together? What? The first Hangover. Oh. Oh, yeah. Were they writers on that? Yep. I think Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. See, look at you. Thank you. And so, yes. they worked together uncredited uh-huh. on Wedding Crashers. I did not know oh, that. Yeah. See what happens when you listen to the Golden State movie I know. <laughs> podcast review? Your life just gets better exponentially. Right? Yeah. There you go. So thank you. All right, Mariano. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So yeah, so those, those, those are some good tidbits. So getting back to the plot, um, yeah, Mila Kunis is Amy, the struggling working class mom who's married, you know, and Catherine Hahn is Carla, this you know the single, she's the single mom mm-hmm. <laughs> who's very uh, outlandish, You're very ready to mingle. Yes, <laughs> very re- yeah, ready to mingle exactly. And Kristen Bell is Kiki. She's kind of like I love Kristen. Bell. I know, I know. She was the the, the swamped, you know, you know, uh, how you know housewife mom who's just in over her head and underappreciated. Christina Applegate plays Gwendolyn, who's the head of the PTA, and she's just like a step for a wife. She is just kind of mean. Yeah. <laughs> and Jada Pinkett plays her girlfriend, Stacy, who's uh, one of her colleagues, who's just like one of her evil minions. <laughs> and uh, Annie uh, Mamolo, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, plays Vicky, who's a uh, another colleague of uh, Christina Applegate's Gwendolyn's character. And uh, it just goes from here. It's just what I got to tell you about this film, man. I loved it. I loved it. It I loved it too. Actually, Oh man. It was, it was so much funnier than I thought it was going to be. I was cracking up. You know, can I say that I didn't think I was going to love it because Uh I do think that in like comedies or romantic comedies, right? There is, there's kind of a point lately where there's like too much funny Uh and you're like, okay, we get it. Like, I like when the circumstances are funny, but I don't like when these people are, like, unnaturally witty. Right. You know what I mean? Like a sitcom. Uh-huh. Like, they just throw 
banger after banger of joke and i'm like okay nobody's that funny it's almost getting weird um but this movie was like appropriately funny and everybody in it is so good kristen bell i love just in and of herself mila kunis duh you know yeah remember that 70s show oh yeah and um christina applegate oh i I loved her since married with children (laughs) you and a lot of young men (laughs) but me more myself included so yeah we all loved her yeah that was a great show but yeah i'm glad she's still here doing her thing yeah one of my favorite movies of hers was can't no i'm sorry not can't anyway it was um the sweetest thing I saw that, but I have to watch it again because I can't remember it right now. That's okay. that's like my aunt's all-time favorite. Really? I think I stole her DVD one time, and she had to buy another one. And I, <laughs> that's cute. That's yeah. <laughs> so your commitment was real to Christina. Oh, yeah. Date. There you go. Yeah, uh, everyone was did a great job. The acting was, was top-notch. The direction was great. This film was so much fun. Yeah, I, you know, they had me... It's it's rare where I watch a comedy that has me really Actually laughing, laughing out, out loud. loud. Me yes, too. in the yeah. theater. They had me dying. Um, and I got to say it, too. Um, Catherine uh, Hahn, who plays Carla. That girl. Was- <laughs> oh, she stole the show, man. Yeah. She was so good. You're as not the-, the only one that feels that way, either. Oh, man. She was so good. <laughs> she was adorable. When they <laughs> when they go grocery shopping, that's all we're going to say. Uh, that, oh, that was that was beautiful. <laughs> you're, that's a popular opinion. Because, you know, I look up like other people's reviews. And, right. And... Uh, but they I, do not influence ours. No, no, no. Well, to be clear, <laughs> I watch the movie first, right? Then kind of formulate my idea, right? I look up the other reviews, and like more often than not, I, I like not end up disagreeing, but it doesn't like really like sway one way or the other, because I figure we're not here to listen to theirs. But just there it is, just so that you're you know the listeners are aware. Uh-huh. Just about everyone else thought. Catherine Hahn was the funniest or stole the show. Or- oh, man. She was amazing. Yeah. She's so cute. She, she had me crack it up. She but was amazing. What do you feel about this? I think her and Kristen Bell together were really good. Because Kristen Bell so... All three of them had great chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was excellent casting. Kristen Bell was hilarious. Uh, it, yeah, everything was... Yeah, the, the dialogue in this was really good when they were talking about... <laughs> The circumcised penis. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) And that's in the trailer. Well, part of it is. You get more in the movie, and that was so funny. (laughs) I was cracking up. Yeah, it was it's it's a good I mean, because the directors let you in on like, you know tidbits of yeah, yeah. of women talking. You know, and what women might talk about when you Don't you love that? Don't you love movies where it kind of exposes what women would talk about? Yeah. So I thought that was really cool that we got a chance to be in, you know, in the bathroom and hear, you know, hear what yeah. they're talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that was that was cool. So yeah, they, they, yeah, they did a good job with that. But yeah, it was very funny. It was a good show. I mean, and, and there are overall themes in it too about taking work seriously but not too seriously. Making sure that your kids are well adjusted people. Yeah, and that they're good, kind people. So you get those things in this film. I, mine, mm-hmm. the ones that I got from this, which I really enjoyed, were. Um, be you yes and and don't be don't be too worried about details that may not necessarily matter oh and excuse me they were talking about the uncircumcised penis not circumcised penis i was gonna say i I thought it was funny like that that, uncircumcised penis that whole thing you said to me sounded like a joke just now because you were like uncircumcised penis some of it's in the trailer well part of it is and i'm like (laughs) (laughs) i'm like that's even funny i didn't think about that (laughs) you're right wasn't even trying man when i don't try they laugh man when i try crickets I tell you. so <laughs> you already know but yeah um what you, you were saying though about the theme again about my what i took from the theme number one i love the fact that you finally see christina applegate is a bad like technically the, the you know the villain. antagonist yeah the villain yeah but yeah, um the antagonist yeah because i don't even know if she's a she, villain but she's just against the, the main people you know and i, I like that yeah. she does a good job in yes. that role yes um oh she's such a hot mom but um, <laughs> you're funny. The the overall theme that I really enjoyed from this movie was do things in your own way because they tend to come out better because yeah. they fall in kind of natural yes. sync with you. I agree. You know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then it's also about being appreciated too. So for who you yeah. are, um, well, because, I think because Mila Kunis' character Amy wasn't feeling appreciated on, on, on more than one front. That's yeah. all we'll say. No, I, oh yeah, I agree. I won't say any more, but but <laughs> yeah. I, I can I also say that I do see where you're coming from. I kind of gleamed a variation of that. Mm-hmm. Learn to appreciate yourself. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's probably the biggest theme that yeah, you know, in, in this film. Learn to appreciate yourself and 
basically stop and smell the roses. You don't really get that exactly. when you yeah, watch the film. Yeah, that's a good film. way to put it. Yeah, yeah, but that's what, but that's what it boils down to when you watch this film is that it's it's really about you know stopping to smell the roses, appreciating what you have in your life, and be a bad mom because it rules. Yeah, <laughs> it it really does. But on a scale of one to ten, what do you give the film? Uh, nine. I'm gonna have to give it a nine as well. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. It was awesome. I'm so. I'm I'm pushing even maybe like nine point two five because comedies to me lately have tried too hard. That's the you know. But, oh yeah. But this one though oh, yeah. didn't have to. Yeah, this one didn't have to. They they were it, it just was worked. Good. Like Mike and Dave, some of it you know like do you remember the what's oh, it? I enjoyed it, but yeah, yeah, but but some of it was a little over the top. You're right. Bad moms didn't have to really go over the top. It was exactly. just funny. Yeah. Right. It, 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 yeah, it that's just the worked. difference. Yeah, I it's, agree. So to me, it was it was. Right up there. Okay, okay. Well, up next will be Jason Bourne, and we'll get to that after this break. So stick around. We'll be back. Or will we? Ha. Do you want to be healthier, yet you just don't know what to do? All these shows telling you this and that, but nothing seems to work. Well, listen close. Golden State Media Concepts has got something great for you. The health and wellness podcast dedicated to workout trends, healthy eating habits, diet, and everything about healthy living. Join us in our banters as we help you not just live life to the fullest, but live it to the healthiest. Hey everyone, thanks again for listening to the GSMC Movie Review Podcast. I can't tell you who I am because we are spies and we are reviewing <laughs> Jason Bourne, the latest movie with uh, Matt Damon. And before I get into it, I know Captain Keith has a few uh, yes. tidbits of information. Yes. So Matt Damon is finally back as Jason Bourne. We've been waiting for that for a long time. We're real excited. Uh, the film is produced by Paul Greengrass, the original director of the of the okay. Jason Bourne films. Yeah. So, you know, it was like having family back. So that's good. Yeah, so Paul Greengrass, great director. Um, I mean, this guy, he also directed Captain Phillips with Tom Hanks mm. and United 93. So he's been doing his thing for a while. He's a, uh, uh, let's see. What do you think about? Because I know a lot of people don't consider the uh, the Born movie with Jeremy Renner to be like part the Born of, Legacy. Yeah, I mean it's a part of it. And Jeremy Renner is a great actor. He is. I just wish they wouldn't have made that film. Yeah, because Matt Damon to me is Jason Bourne, right? And then when he finishes being Jason Bourne, whenever that is, then you get a new young. Jason Bourne. Right. I want him to be what James Bond is to Great Britain. Mm-hmm. Jason Bourne is to America. I want, I mean, J- people forget James Bond is written by Ian Fleming based off of his books. Right. Jason Bourne is based off of books. So, and I will let you know the name of the author of those books uh, in a moment. So, and one thing I liked about these movies, because, you know, lately it seems really easy to kind of make them like over the top unrealistic. The Jason uh-huh. Bourne movies somehow tend to be a little more grounded, a little more gritty than that. Right. They're, yeah, they're written by Robert Ludlum. Right. He, he wrote these books. Yeah, do, the, yeah, they are grittier. Do you know what I mean, though? Yeah. Like the, nothing – I mean, I know it's a movie and so it's, it's still like outlandish, but nothing seems that impossible. So it, it just it, – for me, it makes it easier to get into it. Like I love a fight scene that's much more realistic than – you know, than like them in those like older – the mm-hmm. Crouching Tiger movies where you can hit someone with like two fingers and they fly. Like, you, know, it's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, but I, I like having gadgets. I do. And I feel like a complaint I would have with the James Bond films lately is there are not enough gadgets. I don't care for the supervillains. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just not, it's not my Bond. But, you know, we digress. But Jason Bourne, great movie, uh, great return to form for Matt Damon. Basically, Jason Bourne has been underground, undercover. Uh, he's still Jason Bourne, but he... You know, he's not making an, he, he's making a living, but not in the regular nine to five way. Right. Very uh, off the grid. And he's been trying to stay that way. And then, you know, basically one of his uh, last remaining friends winds up reaching out to him, who's played by Julia Stiles. I love that they, that they keep her throughout the, the movies, too. Yeah. So that was cool to see her. And uh, let me tell you what her character's name is. Nikki. And I love that they put Tommy Lee Jones in this one. 
Yeah. Well, he's been consistent throughout most of them, I think. So, But, I mean, you know how, like, I hate when they change up or just don't add someone. Because it's been kind of a while since the last Matt Damon one, mm-hmm. you know? Right. So, Nick, he's been working for this uh, WikiLeaks kind of guy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, trying to obtain government information so she can leak it to the masses. And she stumbles upon some stuff pertaining to Jason. And she tries to, you know, you know. so she reaches out to Jason and the whole ball starts all over again. The one thing that's cool about the Jason Bourne movies and the story about, you know, this secret agent that differs from, like, James Bond is that he seems to be always going up against his own government. Right. Whereas James Bond is always on a mission for his government. Jason Bourne, we do know, has done missions in the past for his government, but mm-hmm. now he keeps, it's like it's like he's in a, like a government mafia type of situation. Like, just when I get out, you pull me right back in. You know, he keeps trying to just be left alone. He wants to know the truth, and he wants to be left alone at the same time. Mm-hmm. And it just seems to be like a real ordeal for him. And every time we see that in these movies, it's just very real. I enjoy the choreography. I enjoy the fights. I enjoy all of it. That's what I meant. Is It has a weird sense of, of, of like, realism to it, you know? Yes. Considering it's an action movie. But yes. it's never, like, over the top. I know I, I agree with you, and there were some good twists in this film I didn't see coming. The plot in this one might be my this one might be my favorite one, you know, because I mean I liked all the ones that he's done, but just because, which I mean, so Jason Bourne has his memory, so that's not the issue in this film, right? But he finds out that there was more to it, even though he exactly. has his memory. Right, yeah. You hear that in the trailer. And when you watch the movie, you're like, wow, there really was more to this that we didn't even know about. Mm-hmm. And it got deep. It got really deep. And then at the end of the day, now the one thing, I, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's just like, he reminds me of Tupac. It's like me against the world. I When, when you said <laughs> that, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, so it's like, yeah, Jan- Jason Bourne is like, yeah, it's me against the world. I mean, that's what's going on. And it's not by his choice. It just seems to always kind of happen to him. Right, but but you know, my favorite thing about it, though, is not the fact that it's him against the world. It's the fact that while it's him against the world, he's not, he's never too, like, hurt and keeps his head down. And he's never too James Bondy, where, you know, he can fall 40 floors and, like, just kind of get up and dust off his blazer and just you know, calmly walk to his beautiful Aston Martin that somehow stayed clean the whole time. You know, it's little, little like snippets of, of reality that just really draw me into the movie. That's an excellent point that actually this franchise, it's much more realistic. Exactly. Because I it's know not that, as glamorous and it's, it's hard and gritty. Exactly. See, and yes. and it, that I know that in movies you're supposed to kind of allow for some unrealistic like disbelief. Mm-hmm. But if there's too much, it, it ruins it, at least for me. It can. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you have to spend too much disbelief. I mean, yeah. I mean, when it gets when the when the dis, when the, the the disbelief gets that huge. Exactly. Yeah, I, it starts I, to rub I, you the wrong way. Yeah, I, I agree. But no, I, he was born for this role. Uh Ha-ha. You know, <laughs> pun intended, I guess. Yeah. Um uh, it's good to have him back. He looks good. He's older. Uh He's in good shape, too. Yeah, he's in great shape, much more seasoned. And yeah, it's just a man of small words. And you know, and you get and you just get the feeling that he's still just trying to live his life. <laughs> he's just trying to live, you know. And yeah, so he it's yeah, it's it's yeah, it's definitely worth watching. You know, it was worth waiting for. I, I, yeah. On a scale of one to ten, I give it like a I give it like a nine. Maybe even a ten. Mm, <laughs> I will go with a nine. Yes, nine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm not gonna give it a ten, I'm gonna give it a nine. Um. Yeah, I'll only give it a, as far as action movies. I give it a ten because I can't think of one. Oh yeah, I can't think of one that for one reason or another is the direction is superior. Exactly, it's superior. It's just, but it, it, it takes. Yeah, that, that that took a long time to make. It had to. A lot of work was put in that movie. And the only reason it gets a nine <laughs> overall is because other movies have made me feel so much more. Right. You know. Right. Definitely. So, but yeah. So. Yeah, Jason Bourne, Matt Damon, Paul Greengrass, 
It's all love. Yeah, man. it was terrible. Don't watch it. <laughs> I'm kidding. It was really Keep good. Keep it coming. Yeah. Bring us some more. We want more. We want more. Um, yeah. Yep. So, I'm like in. I said, and then, you know, when he gets to a point where he doesn't want to do them anymore. Yeah, then cast me, and then it'll be yeah, great. Okay. Cast the new Jason Bourne. That's all. Don't give us somebody who's not Jason Bourne. We'll take a whole new young person to be Jason Bourne. Let, Jay, let Matt Damon be the Sean Connery of the Jason Bourne franchise. Exactly. And the new person's name is Mariano. <laughs> See, he's like, you already got somebody advertised. I mean, are, you know, are, are already w- waiting for a bid, waiting for his run. I'm first in line. Isn't that how it goes? Yeah, you and Idris Elba, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're both in shape, so there it is. <laughs> I can, like, fight him for it. <laughs> right? That'd be interesting. Not so. really. <laughs> It'll be quick. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but, hey, we have uh, – we'll be doing our wrap-up after this break. So stick around, and we'll talk some more about – Bat Moms and Jason Bourne. All right. Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch. Whatever it may be, visit us at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and download us on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Bueller, 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 Fry, Fry. I hated that teacher. <laughs> I hate him still. Ben Stein's money, but yes. Welcome back. This is Golden State Media Concepts Movie Podcast with Mariano, and um, I believe I'm Captain Keith. That's so right. yes. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah. That's right. okay. <laughs> and Jordan is out and about, enjoying the outside lands, having fun doing the concert rock and roll thing. So, yeah, so you'll see him again next week sometime, I believe. But until then, we're holding down the fort. We've been reviewing the new Jason Bourne film with Matt Damon and Julio Stiles and Tommy Lee Jones and Bad Moms. Bad Moms. Yes, with Mila Kunis, Catherine Hahn, and Kristen Bell, Christina Applegate, and Jada Pinkett Smith, and the list goes on. Christina Applegate. <laughs> you got to put me on. Yeah, say your name again, <laughs> <almost> slower. <laughs> yes, so... We were just talking, so we were just talking about Jason Bourne and um, how we both recommend them. We recommend both movies, actually, but yeah. getting back to Jason Bourne and just a great franchise. Like I said, I'm glad it's here. Um, Mariana and I were talking during the break because, like I said, whenever I think of Jason Bourne, to me, it's like America's only competition against James Bond. So, um, I guess, uh, I guess John McClane could be argued. A Die Hard? Oh. But, um... Yeah, oh, and then there's Jack Ryan. Yeah. So, from, which was Harrison Ford. I mean, let me be clear. Patriot Jason Bourne, and... Jason Bourne is, is, like, you know, he's a starter. Oh, yeah. But, um... Definitely. I feel like first, you know, sub would yeah, be... But you, yeah, Jack McClain is like, that's over, bro. That's... that's <laughs> retired, man. That, that franchise is gone, dude. Well, so... Okay. <laughs> fine. Well, yeah, then uh, Jason yeah. Bourne... Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, but and, what uh, we were talking about, though, was... Yes. If they were to, you know, kind of reboot the Jason Bourne movies without Matt Damon, yeah, mm-hmm. and you know, if for some reason I wasn't available, they they would choose uh, <laughs> who's you know, that? Idris Elba. Yeah, Idris Elba. <laughs> that'd be interesting. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I'd yeah. like him. Uh, what were we saying? I, I'd like him better in that than I would as the new James Bond. That's, That's what, what you're I, saying. Yeah. Controversial, controversial. Uh, Look at you. you. I don't know. Well, I, mean, I love it. I love it. Bring it on. I'm listening. Well, it's it's the better movie, and he's a good actor, and he. I think he already kind of has that like natural sense of class. 
which is what I like. Uh huh. So I would hate for them to overdo it. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> I feel like we're in the stadium <laughs> at halftime. Dun, 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 dun. Matt Damon recently stated that he believes that Idris Elba should play James Bond. <laughs> he publicly said that. What does he know? Well, no, I think I'm it's kidding. cool that Jason Bourne's endorsing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Idris Elba to be his competitor. Funny fact: Did you know Matt Damon is is actually a genius? I believe, like yeah, IQ wise, I, I believe I heard he had a high yeah. IQ. Definitely, I, I did. I think I did hear about that. Well, he, you know, he's also an Academy Award winner because he did Good Will Hunting yeah. and Ben Affleck. So, you know, they've been doing their thing for a while. So. Yeah. Um, so we yeah, So we definitely recommend that film for everybody. If you like good action film, you like the Jason Bourne series or franchise, go for it. You won't be disappointed. Seriously, it goes from beginning to end. It doesn't disappoint at all. It just it keeps on going. And you know he proves that we still live in a kind of cold, suspicious world. <laughs> Come home and punch your mother. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Unless you really want to. No, stop it. Okay. Don't do that. But yeah. So. Excellent film. Uh, it was good to see him and Paul Greengrass get back together and work again. Good to see Julia Stiles, Tom Lee Jones, everybody get back and do what they do. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing the sequel to that. You know, keep that franchise going for as long as you can. Yeah. And Bad Moms. Wow. Mila Kunis, you pulled it off. When I saw the trailer, I was like, man, I don't know if I want to see this. And then I saw the movie and I me was too. like, man, this is awesome. Me too. So you got me good. You yeah. got me good. You, yeah. I think a great headline for that would be like, Bad Moms, good movie. <sighs> Bam. Maybe even like Bad Moms, great movie. You I know, love that. that right? be, there it is. Yeah. It's, yeah. If you guys are looking for something that makes you feel good, to cheer you up, to make you laugh, go see Bad Moms. Do not miss that film. It's an excellent film. The whole cast was great. Mila Kunis, uh, Kristen Bell, Catherine Hahn, they all have great chemistry together. It was uh, Christina Applegate. Everyone played their roles properly. Would you it agree was, that both of these movies are, are two of those weird ones where there almost are no weak points? Yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And, uh, and it hasn't happened before us really in a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then uh, and on the island test, man, I'm sorry. If I was on the island, I have to, I got to keep them. I got <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to choose. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, okay, if we well, had to well, choose. Well, if we had to choose, yeah, on the island. Okay. If we, what would you choose? If we had to choose, I would choose. Uh, on the island by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Bourne. Really? Yeah. Because it's more like, it's more kind of get up and go. And if I'm alone on an island, I feel like that would be more beneficial to me than than bad moms yeah bad moms will make you laugh and then you're gonna but like, i wonder how often can you watch that until it's no longer funny like well I, not that it's not a good movie but and you're right it is a good movie so uh on the island i don't know man like <laughs> let's see uh jason Bourne is a, yeah that would get you up the uh, that would be a good good up and go uh i don't know i think i might pick bad moms though okay so, so i can laugh Okay, but yeah, but but at the end of the day, they're both worth uh, having and yeah. watching. So yeah, so there's kind of there's no loser there. Like if you, no matter no. what you choose, there's no bad option. No, not at all. So the only way that that could go downhill is if you made a sequel to it. So just don't do that. Mm. Just leave it the way it is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm. In regards to Bad Moms, it's fine just the way it was. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know because it was written by the guys who did the first Hangover. The Hangover Two wasn't as good. But I don't believe it was written by the same guys, though. So I think you might be right there. Well, I think also, too, Bad Moms is just one of those movies that doesn't need a sequel. Exactly. You know, like there was nothing, you know. Right. It was It was just good the way it was. Right. We get it. Like what else? How much yeah. worse can the moms, you know. Right. So, yeah. So, you know, that one was just fine. But, yeah, definitely Jason Bourne. I'm looking forward to seeing where they go next with it now. And I, I might have to actually pick up those books now, man. I never read those books by Robert Rud by Robert Ludlum, so I'm kind of curious to see you know how much more detail the books go. Because yeah, because just when you thought that there might not be any more uh, twists and turns with his background, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we were wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, he is a spy, so it makes sense that we didn't know. Yes. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah. Two definitely. good movies. Definitely. So yeah, so pick those up. Check them out. So. Own them both, actually. They were both really good movies. Oh, yeah. Those are worth it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, so our next podcast, we're going to be talking about the new movie Nerve starring Emma Roberts and Dave Franco, mm -hmm. uh, which is... Uh, James Franco's little brother. Yes. And 
the new movie on DVD release, it is uh, Miles Davis's Miles Ahead, starring Don Cheadle as Miles Davis, who also directed that. So And wrote it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So make sure that you guys uh, tune in for that podcast. Uh, yeah, that's coming up next. So looking forward to talking about that. That's going to be a fun show to do as well. <laughs> uh, but it is just about time for us to get out of here, sir. All right. Well, you know where you can find us? Where can you find us, Mariano? Mm, I don't know. But if I did know, it'd probably be 